So today we're here with Dr. Paul Brockle. All right. So what's your position in horticulture? I'm retired from New Mexico State University. There I was the chili pepper breeder and director of the Chili Pepper Institute. Okay. So what has horticulture meant to your life and career? Right. I grew up in San Diego County, northern San Diego, San Diego County, a little town called Vista. And back in those days, we had um, carnation production, mum production. We had steak tomatoes, and now we, they're growing strawberries. And so agriculture has always been around me in horticulture. And even from a very early age, I enjoyed gardening. And so it's been part of my life, all my life. Okay, so... I guess, what has horticulture meant to your life and career? Sure. Um, it's been re very rewarding. Um, you know, the, 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 uh, the saying is, if you like what you do, you never work a day in your life. And I love horticulture. And so it's just been a very rewarding and, and, and good career. I, it kind of keeps you healthy mentally and healthy physically. All right. So how long have you been a member of ASHS? And... How has the society influenced your career? I've been a member more than 40 years, and it's influenced it a lot because um, networking, even though with the advent of the internet today, uh, is still very important. And so you meet people that have expertise in different areas. And so I always feel comfortable reaching out to them to answer questions for me. So what advice can you offer students or young professionals in horticulture? Well, if you like plants, you love horticulture, it's a great career. Um, you, you know, as I mentioned earlier, if you, if you love what you're doing, you'll never work a day in your life and you'll get out of bed going, can't wait to get there and do it. Okay. So what excites you most about the future of the industry? Shakespeare said the, the whole world is your oyster and it's true today with horticulture. Uh, we have greater opportunities, greater uh, questions we can answer, our, our networking in, in all over the world, China, Europe. It's so easy now, Africa. I'm a student with many projects in Africa, which has kind of opened up. And so I think it's just going to be a very, very good career for the decades ahead. Is there anything else you'd like to add, perhaps about journals? Or? Okay. Uh, <laughs> now I'm talking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now that I'm talking here, uh, I'm the editor in chief of Hort Science, one of our three journals in the society. And what I always say is that we want to publish your research, and we have three journals uh, the Journal of ASHS for Basic, Hort Science for Applied, and Hort Technology for Technology Transfer. And so, no matter what kind of research you do in horticulture, we at ASHS want to publish it. Okay.